So just another quick video, and this time it's about a little trick I sometimes use when dealing with echo outs. And then this video is going to be echo echoing out just the solo, uh, the solo stem of the vocals, but it could be any echo out. But in this example, it's that, it's that one. So um, the echo out can of course be at different speeds because you decide what the step is going to be, one beat, half a beat, whatever. But let's do one beat and half a beat here. So what I find is that if I play a fast track, um, I'm just going to use the same track in this video and speed it up here. Yeah. So let's say 117 BPM. Then the slow echo out, which is one beat echo, uh, echo out, works pretty well, like this. But if I then play the slow track, at 92 BPM, then the same echo out became sort of empty because it's a whole beat long. And in that situation, I find that the fast echo out, the half beat echo out, actually uh, sounds better and has a better serve a better purpose even when using it for mixing into the next track. Like that. So uh, what I've done is, uh, is I've thought about this and I've said, well, uh, then I have to remember to click the right one based on what I read in the BPM. So is that an easier way to fix that? And yes, you can simply let Virtual DJ decide on the fly. So uh, that's why I cut this auto length e uh, echo out down here. So let's look at that script. So uh, what it does is it gets the BPM, asks for the BPM. That's usually used for test text purposes, like in a skin. So I tell it to uh, to cast it to an integer. That's probably not really needed. They'll probably figure it out anyway. But it's it's a nice thing to do, so you can see what you're working with. Then I compare it to a number, a value, uh, and, and do something if it's greater than that value. And that value that we're in is 100. So my little, uh, my little test here, my little... Uh, uh, differences between below 100 BPM and above 100 BPM. And that includes if you change the BPM like I just saw. So that's my that's my limit here, 100 BPM. So if it's uh, if it's above 100 BPM, it says the uh, the second dial on the, on the echo out, which is the, le uh, the, the beat, number of beats, so 70%, which is one beat. And if it's, uh, if it's slower than 100, then it says it to 50, which is half a beat. So it basically triggers the pad effects for echo out, and it does it in solo stem vocal mode, like I just said it suggested, but it can be uh, any echo out, right? So it just basically changes the amount of beats between a whole beat and half a beat, so that the whole beat one only happens if the track is above 100 BPM, and the half beat, the faster one, happens if it's below 100 BPM. So that's basically it. Um, and I find that that works pretty well, because now when I, uh, when I have this track and, and I play it in 117 BPM mode and click the auto line, uh, echo out. Then the length is a whole beat, but if I do it when uh, I'm below 100, then it does it in half a beat, so faster and fills out more space. So I think that's pretty cool that this Virtual DJ just decides this for you. And of course you can change this this limit, the 100 BPM that the, that selects between the two to any value that you want. And the scripts for all three buttons are going to be in the video description. If you would like to map them to something, I've just mapped them to the custom buttons here. But of course it can be a keyboard key or you can put it on a, on a pad page so that it's available for you, uh, from your controller if you like.